ChatGPT can be a very useful tool that helps you to code if you fully utilize its capability. Most of the application requires authentication. And when you need authentication, you are required to route the user to a login page. And in the login page, you will have a username or email field and a password field. So instead of writing the code ourselves, let's ask ChatGPT to write the code for the login page for us. And once we get the code response from ChatGPT, we will copy paste it in a Flutter application and check if it works. ChatGPT response on code-related question actually surprised me as it provides an explanation on its own code. So this is the complete response from ChatGPT. Now let's copy the code session and paste it in our Flutter project. So the code returned from ChatGPT actually generates some compile error. Let's fix it one by one. So Flutter introduced now safety in 2022. And the dataset used to train ChatGPT is until 2021, which is why we have the now safety error. However, it doesn't mean that ChatGPT is inaccurate as we should see ChatGPT as an assisting tool. Now let's hot restart the application. And this is how it looks for the login page created by ChatGPT. And it even highlight and focus on the selected view and also hide the password input value. So this is how we can utilize ChatGPT to help us in writing codes. Share with us your experience of using ChatGPT for your daily tasks in the comment section below. Here comes to the end of this tutorial. If you like our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.